Hello and welcome to Only Connect, a quiz so clever it almost understands the referendum on alternative voting systems. We're in our fourth series now and Only Connect is ageing like a fine wine. It's mature, it's tasteful, and it usually leaves you feeling slightly dizzy and worried you've said something stupid. I'm sure that won't be a problem for our teams tonight. On my right, it's the Wrights. They are Pete Wright, an IT specialist who enjoys course fishing on the Liverpool-Leeds Canal. Rosa Wright, a gap year student who works as a learning support assistant and enjoys writing fiction. And their captain, Liz Wright, an IT consultant and politics graduate with a passion for computer games. The Wrights are mother, father and daughter from Leeds. Liz, why do you think your family nominated you as captain? Uh, well, we had quite a debate about it, but I'm the best referee, I think, given previous experience of maths homework and driving lessons. It's best if I stay in the middle. I think I shall be the referee on this occasion. But it's lovely to see a family that's all connected. Very nice. Welcome to the show. Your opponents are the Urban Walkers. Alistair Dorney, a music graduate from SOAS who loves travelling, eating Italian food and drinking bourbon. Edmund Kirby, an English literature student who presents his own show on Sussex University Radio. And their captain, Edward Page, a store manager and qualified wine taster who enjoys playing cricket and reading European philosophy. United by their love of taking long walks across European cities, they are the urban walkers. Edward, how is urban walking different from just going to the shops? Uh, it's a bit like going on a wonderful journey. You meet all sorts of exciting people, see all amazing sights, have adventures. Maybe have a couple of encounters with the police, that kind of thing. <laughs> What's the best city you've walked through? Um, the best, in terms of kind of the effort, and the reward would be London. That was we walked from Upminster to Heathrow over a couple of days. That was, yeah, that was the best. Well, let's see what kind of a journey you'll be going on tonight. I hope it'll take you to exotic places. We'll begin with round one. This is a simple round. All you have to do is tell me what is the connection between four apparently random clues. If you tell me that after seeing just one clue, you'll get five points. That won't happen. After two clues, three points. After three clues, two points. And if you see all four clues, you get one point. But only if you give me the right answer, give me the wrong one or run out of time and I will throw it to the other team for a possible bonus. Right, so you won the toss. You might be expecting to see some Greek letters at this point if you've seen the show on TV, but you're not going to. We had complaints from viewers that this was pretentious and silly and, you know, a little bit elitist. So no more Greek letters here. Right, please select your Egyptian hieroglyph. Could I have a horned viper, please? The horned viper. Your first clue is coming up. Shout next when you're ready to see another one. Your time starts now. Lock and quail. Lock and quail. I said, no there's one. Dan Quail. He's a news reader, wasn't he? Okay. I said something Next. Different. Clemens and August. Famous couples, famous shamed couples. No. Next. Into the Morris. I've got uh, no idea, yes. I don't remember. I, th I think there's stores. You think there's stores? Q. Oh. 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 We'll go. We think there's stores. We think it's B and Q, C and A, H and M. I'm going to accept it. They are companies whose names are abbreviated to initials. The final clue is going to be Peninsula and Oriental P and O. Companies where the initials are put on either side of an ampersand to make the more commonly known name. Well done. Coming in after three clues, you get two points. And it's over to the Urban Walkers to please pick your hieroglyph. Could I have some twisted flax? You certainly may. The wick of twisted flax. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Photon. Photon torpedo. Uh, article. Next, please. White, White corners. corners. Some sort of things to do with light, maybe. Yeah. Next, be, next, please. PH7. So that's that's neutral. 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 Photography. Neutral. Photography, possibly. Photography. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. they're neutral no, things. No, Might be six. Yeah. Next, please. Yes. Yeah. Ah. They're all neutral things. Maybe you should have had a gamble after three clues. Yeah. They are all. Neutral. A photon is a neutral particle. White corners, you know, in a boxing match, they oh, are the neutral uh, corners, yeah, the safe place to go. pH 7, of course, something that's neither showing for acid nor alkali. On a litmus test in Switzerland, neutral during the war. They are all things that are neutral, and you get the point. Well done. Right, pick a hieroglyph. Can we have the Eye of Horus, please? You certainly may. The Eye of Horus. Time starts now. 
George, George Wallace. Wallace. Vaguely familiar name, but I'm not sure where from. Next. Millard Fillmore. Again, Fillmore is familiar, but I'm not sure yeah. where from. Shall I go next? Yeah, yeah I think so. Next. Ralph, Ralph Nader. Nader. Oh, he was a Green Party. They, he ran in America. Are, are they, um... Liberal. Uh, the... Are they the running mates? No, they're the, the failed candidates. They're failed candidates in the election. Do, do you want America. the next one? Or I think, well, I, that? Yeah, I think so. You want the next one? Please, yeah. Next. We're under 10 seconds now. Oh, yes, sorry, yeah. Uh, they're failed presidential candidates in the American elections. Have another go. Of the third party. Uh, they're the third party. It's the third party. They are failed presidential candidates, but of course that in itself is a little bit too broad. They are the third party candidates, neither Republican nor Democrat in American elections. Well done, you get the point. So back to the urban walkers to pick a hieroglyph. A uh, lion, please. Lion. Now these are going to be pictures, picture clues. Same principle. What is the connection? First one coming up now. I've got a bison. Got some mozzarella, bison uh, grass. Next, please. Mm, Elk. Um, are they names? Uh, lodges. Bison. Next, please. Secret societies. Secret societies. Yeah, yeah, because they're, 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 they're uh, names of secret societies. I'm afraid they're not names of secret societies, so I'm going to bring up the fourth clue and throw it over to your opponents for a possible bonus. But I can't give you long to discuss it. Are they all the names of cities? Buffalo, Moose? You know? <laughs> no, they're not. Good idea. Where do you think Moose is? I thought it might be in Alaska or something. And there probably is a city called Moose in Alaska, but no, this is one of those really nasty ones. It's about the words. They are words which do not gain an S in the plural. Bison, moose, samurai and sheep, singular and plural, is the same. There's always the odd horrible one like that in this quiz. No bonus point there, right, but you do get to choose your own hieroglyph. Uh, can we have two reads, please? Two reads. Ah, now this is going to be the sound or music question. You'll be hearing your clues and the first one is going to start now. Next. Are they all about men? Possibly. It's a bit easy, a bit direct. Okay. Well, this is about an artist, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, can we have next, please? Many dreams have been brought to. This is Mona Lisa. Is it about paintings and artists? Yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah. yeah. About particular paintings. Do you want to go next? Next. Starry, starry night. Yeah, they're all about artists. Oh, okay. yeah. Artists. We think they're all about artists. That's Vincent van Gogh with Starry Night. There is Mona Lisa in there, or paintings. Um, what was the other one? Oh, uh, Matchstalk. Matchstalk Match Dork Dork was Lowry. Lowry. And I can't remember what the first one was. Oh, it's Fanfare for the Common Man. Which was Copeland. That first piece was Mussorgsky's Pictures at an Exhibition to commemorate the artist Victor Hartman. It's as simple as that. Pieces of music inspired by artists or paintings. Very good. You get one point. So, that just leaves one question for you, Urban Walkers. It's going to be water. Cool. Your first clue is coming up now. Okay, sequence next. Uh, next, please. Oh, it was carnage. Uh, I see. Uh, hmm? What? I don't know. Next, please. Rejection, which was selection. There's some, some word in there. Yeah, there's some word in there. Uh, next, please. Exactly. Um, but uh, so, uh, um, text, um, when you type in a text, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah when you type in yeah. text. Ten seconds. When, um, they are erroneous predictive text selections. I'll accept that because actually they could be. Uh, all it is is that they have the same letters yeah. on a mobile phone if you're going to write them out there, denoted by the same numbers. It, it used to be that, didn't it? Predictive text, it used to be if you wrote book, you got cool. I don't think that happens anymore. I they changed it. I don't have a phone, to be honest. <laughs> you don't have a phone? No mobile phone, no. Wow. I'm genuinely impressed by that. Is that a, a principle? Uh, never really seen the need, to be honest. You're a hero <laughs> of modern times. <laughs> a you. hero. You don't need a mobile phone. Why should we be shackled, shackled to these electronic possessions? We don't need them. I like your style. At the end of round one, the urban walkers have got two points, but the rights are in the lead with four points. Round 
two is a little trickier. There are still four clues and there's still a connection between them. But this time I want the teams to tell me what comes forth in the sequence. So you may only see a maximum of three clues and you have to work out the connection and then tell me what would come forth. Right, you'll be going first again. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, can we have the horned viper? The horned viper again. So you will see the first in a sequence. What comes forth? The first one is coming up now. Grandma, the square, a lord. Uh, next. Chelsea. Or is it Slines of Hotel? Is it, um, in the centre of London? Uh, next. Albert of Square. Oh, um, Chelsea, Albert Square. Grosvenor Square. Are oh, they Albert actually... Uh, it doesn't ring any bells with me at all. Mm. On Memorials Football Clubs, not Football Clubs. Right. Albert King. So, Chelsea is blue. Albert's blue. They're not locks on the embankment or bridges. Five no. seconds. Bridge. Bridge. Should we go for bridge? Yeah. But which bridge is it? Vauxhall. Uh, Vauxhall Bridge. Are they bridges afraid. along the river? Town? That is not the answer I'm looking for. So there's a possible what bonus opportunity bridge. view here, Walkers. Not an opportunity for a long chat, bridge. an opportunity bridge. to give me an answer. Q Bridge. That's not correct either. You are right. They are Thames River crossings. Next along would be Battersea. <sighs> Grosvenor, that's the obscure one, otherwise known as the Victoria <coughs> Railway Bridge. That is the crossing for Chelsea as you're going along in that direction. So no points there. Urban Walkers, please pick a hieroglyph. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. First in a sequence coming up. What is fourth? Time starts now. Um, cover sun and sink four feet. Uh, next, please. Roll over the boundary. Some, some sort of... It's going to be, yeah, yeah. Like, um, to get us at school. Yeah. Maybe a four. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a single. Um, a single? I'm afraid that is not the answer I'm looking for. So, right, so I'm going to show you the third in the sequence. And I'll give you a bonus point if you can tell oh, me if, what comes forth. Is this baseball? No, this is... Or is uh, ways to be out? No, it's, it's not uh, a coffee morning. Do you have an answer? Six. Six? Have another go. Would it be a four? Hit a six. I'm going to take it. Hit over the boundary. Oh, You're right, absolutely okay. right. It is ways of scoring in cricket. I think you guys were going in the wrong direction. Yeah, we were. It's going so upwards. Hit five, Three, it? four, five and six. What I wanted to hear was something that would get you six runs in cricket. Right, please pick a hieroglyph. Uh, could we have lion, please? You certainly could. First in a sequence coming up. Time starts now. That could be absolutely anything. Uh, we'll go next. Holy spy. Holy spy. Goodness me. Um, next. Monday, Monday Tuesdays. Holy, holy spy. Monday, Tuesday. Spy Tuesday morning. Would it be Good Friday then? Holy Tuesday. Yeah. We'll go Good Friday. We think it's Monday, Thursday. Possibly Spy Wednesday and Holy Tuesday. So that is correct. They are the days of Holy Week leading up to Easter Sunday and it's Good for Good Friday would be the fourth in the sequence. Urban Walkers, pick a hieroglyph. Uh, twisted Flax. Twisted Flax. First in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Generations. Generation Games. <laughs> Next game. Close contact. They're Star Trek films, aren't they? OK, so go um, So Generation... No, yeah, next, please. And what was the last one? Well, um, it was... <laughs> What was the last Star Trek film? Was it not just Star Trek? Um, I think it was just called Star Trek. The most recent one. most recent one. It was just called Star Trek. Star Trek. I'm afraid that's not the correct answer. So, rights, would you like to have a go? Uh, well, we think they're the order that they've come out going backwards. We think Generations is the latest one. I just is can't think... Wrath of Khan. You're not correct either. They are Star Trek films going forwards in time from 1994 to 2002 and the one after Insurrection was Nemesis. Nemesis. Right, please pick a hieroglyph. Uh, we'll have water. Water. First one coming up. Time starts now. Laurence Olivier. Oh, knighthood. Actor. Next. It's got to be Peter, oh, are these directors of the Olivier Theatre? In which case isn't Kevin... Oh, spaces. Yeah. Uh, next. I think it probably is. That hasn't helped, but yeah. All right, we'll go for that. We think they're directors of the National Theatre. We'll go for Kevin Spacey. I'm afraid that is not the right answer, so I'm going over to the Urban Walkers for a bonus. Um, um, quickly, or whatever. Say something. Got no idea. 
No. They are artistic directors of the National Theatre. After Richard Eyre came Trevor Nunn. Um. After Trevor Nunn came the current incumbent, Nicholas Heitner. Kevin Spacey is not director of the National Theatre, he's director of the Old Vic. Urban Walkers. Uh, two reads. It's going to be two reads for you. This is going to be in the form of pictures. You'll see picture clues. What will the fourth one be? Your time starts now. Madagascar. Madagascar, yeah. Um, maybe next, please, maybe films. Yeah. Maybe largest islands in sequence. Yeah, next, please. Yeah. Um, most populous islands. Largest. Is that Jakarta? So, um, for Australia. But no, it would be like, it doesn't. Yeah, it's it's population. Most no. population? Which you it's it's it. Yeah. For Australia. I'd say a country. Ten seconds. Okay, we'll go for Australia. Yeah. Australia. I'm afraid that's not the answer. So, right, it's another chance for a bonus. I, I, think, I, I think Greenland. It's, Ireland's getting larger. Do you have uh, an We'll go for Greenland. It is Greenland. Now, Urban Walkers, unfortunately, you were wrong for two reasons. They are the world's largest islands in increasing size. Yeah. It wouldn't be Australia anyway, because that third one is New Guinea, and the next largest yeah. after that is, is Greenland. That will be next in the sequence. Australia is not classified as an island at all. It's classified as a continent. But, uh, yes, that is a bonus point for you, Rights. Wow. That leaves the scores at the end of round two, with the Urban Walkers still on two points. The Rights have improved to eight points. Round three is our connecting wall. 16 clues this time, which the teams have to sort into four connected groups of four. Urban Walkers, it's going to be your turn to go first. Now, you may have seen this on the TV. There'll be lots of red herrings swimming about on this wall, but uh, there is only one way to divide it into four connected groups. You have got the choice of the lion or the water. Could we have the lion, please? The lion wall, you absolutely can. You've got two and a half minutes to solve this. You will get a point for each group you correctly identify. Another point for telling me the connection later. And bonus points if you get it all correct. Good luck. And your time starts now. OK, um... Pink Hemingway. Um, um, Wayne Hemingway. Or, um, Stella McCartney. Westwood's dead, dead designers, aren't they? Um, yeah. Westwood's Westwood. Westwood. Uh, Hemingway's not dead, is he? Give it a go. Give it a go. Um, and, um, 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 um... No, no, OK. Um, next, next, next. Sid Fishers. He's dead. That's a bit vague, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah, but no, yeah, that's ridiculously vague. OK. Um... OK, get that. Huey, Louie, Dewey, Dewey. Dewey. Um... I don't think... Donald. Donald, yeah, no. Daisy. Daisy. There we go. OK, um... Lee Westwood, no. Lee Westwood, yes. Uh, sorry, I'm... Westwood, I'm Rose, Rose. Yeah, two yeah, golfers. golfers. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know if any of the other ones are golfers. Rose, but... BK, I don't know, but a crop, I suppose they've... Um, Sid, Magic. I think maybe these are going to go together in some, like, horsey thing. <laughs> 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 nice, I quite like it. Yeah. used one minute. OK, but... Well, the dress could be in that. We can't use Westwood. Um... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's three strikes and you're out now. Okay. With two okay. groups gone, you only get three attempts. Magic roundabout. Magic. No. Right. Um, nice. I'm thinking that, like, lame crop, peak and dress or something like that. OK. But I, I, don't know. I don't know where I'm getting that from. Where is there? Sids? Are there any more Sids? Fishes circle, fishes circle, circles, crop circles. Oh, yes, yes. Circle, magic magic circle. circle. And um, dress circle. Dress circle? Yeah, is that the theatre? You've solved the wall. Congratulations. That is an immediate four points for getting all four groups. Bonus points available now. Daisy, Dewey, Donald, Louie. They are all Disney ducks. They are lovely Disney ducks. Very good. That's one point. Next category, Westwood, McCartney, Guinness, yeah. Hemingway. They are all fashion designers. They are. Can you tell me their first names? Uh, Vivian Westwood, Stella McCartney, Guinness and... Wayne Hemingway. Sorry, there was interference <laughs> on the line then. Uh, I don't know. Arthur Guinness. Lulu Guinness, I think okay. she okay. just lots of accessories and that sort of thing. Mm. Fashion designers, though, that is that category. Yeah. What about the next one? Magic, vicious, dress, crop. They can all be followed circle. by the word circle. They absolutely can. Magic circle, vicious circle, dress circle, crop circle. Oh, Sid Vicious, that's what sent you down that yeah, line. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. Last one. Peak, rose, expose, lame. Mm. Um, oh, they're all no. things to do with photography. You're a 
talk no, me through that? Nothing, to be honest, apart from the expose. But, uh, <laughs> no, sorry. They are words which change their I'm meaning saying. if you put an okay, accent on the final E. Yeah, like okay. Peak, a fit of peak, becomes PK, which yeah, is a kind of okay. cloth. Definitely. Rose, rosé, yeah. so wine. Expose... You know, as a verb, yeah, yeah, expose yeah. is it now meaning something else, lame and lame, of course, a fabric with which yeah. I'm sure you're all lame, yeah. familiar. <laughs> so, you get four points for the groups that you found, three extra points for the connections that you gave me. That makes a total of seven points. So, well done, Urban Walkers. Let's bring back their opponents, the right family, to see what they can do with their connecting wall. Brand new one, of course, 16 new clues, but still must be sorted into four connected groups of four. Now, you have got the water wall. The lion one's already been chosen. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, and the clues are going to come up now. Okay. Oh, Angel, it's a tube line. Um, well, Queens yeah, is an area in New York. Queens, Queens as is the Bronx. Bronx. Uh, Buffalo? No. Buffalo, Buffalo is in New York, York, isn't it? That's it. And New York itself, then, cities yeah. in New York City. No. OK. Whoops. Um, Richmond, uh, fairy cake, Richmond cake. Richmond's in North Yorkshire. Never Never is on tick. Credit, yeah. Never yeah. Never. Tick, tick. credit, um, yeah, HP. Yeah. Okay. One group. And then we've got chalk and cheese, bread and cheese. Oh, there's no, cheese, cheese out there. there. Um, oh. Buffalo's a place in New York. Queens, Bronx. Angel in, is Angel in Richmond, is that in New York? No, I don't know. I don't know. Should we try it? Try it then. Try it. Bronx, Queens, Queens Richmond, Richmond, Buffalo. No. Oh, Angel. No. Short, New York, Richmond, Bronx, and Queens. Yeah, yes. that's it. And then we've got cheesecake, cake, fairy cake, mink, mink cake, cake, bread, bread cake. cake. Remember, it's three strikes and you're out now. Mm hmm. Got no, two more it's not that one. So you've got mm. angel cake, cheesecake, fairy cake, bread cake, used half which would leave time. you with mint, buffalo, chalk and gold. Mint green. Buffalo cheese. soldier, buffalo cheese. cheese. Buffalo cheese. Um, mint cheese, chalk. So what? Well, well, we we'll go for the cakes again. Go on then. Well, cheesecake, fairy cake. Angel cake. No, we no, tried that. that. You only oh, have one more go. Got one go. Fairy. Oh, no. <laughs> Cheese fairy. Hang on, what are the other ones? We've got gold. Angel. It might not be cakes at all. Um, gold, angel. Chalk. I'm fine, chalk. Don't know. Go on then, what, where are you going with that? I don't think that's wrong. OK. Should we go for cake again? Oh. We have well, we haven't got... It's buffalo milk. You've got 30 seconds. Mm, Should we do bread cake, angel cake, fairy cake, cake and cheesecake, cheese yeah. Bread cake. Did we very, try that? Very no Go on. Very Yorkshire Are you thing. Sure? Good. We'll try that one. Yeah? No, no, not mint. No, I don't think mint. All right, we'll no. go for go for Angel then. Take. No, uh, that no. is it, and the grid has frozen. So you've got two groups. That's an immediate two points. I'll give you two more points if you can tell me what the connections are. The first group: Tick, HB, Credit, Never, Never. They're all about credit, getting something on tick, getting something on higher purchase, credit or the never-never. Terms for buying something using a loan, so that's one point. And the next one, Queens, Bronx, New York, Richmond. Places in New York? Places in New York or, State. Yeah. Or, or areas in New York, York City. City. They are technically counties in New York City, okay. so that's another point. Now, you can get bonus points for telling me the connections of the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. And there we are. Cheese, mint, bread, buffalo. Um, They're not soldiers? Cake? Are they all milk? green? I can't give you too long. You need to give me an answer. Uh, Cakes. Cake? We'll go for cake. We don't know what buffalo cake is. Well, we'll I'm afraid it. that's because there's no such thing. Oh. They are sauces. Oh. Cheese sauce, oh. mint sauce, bread sauce and buffalo sauce, which is a sauce traditionally served over fried chicken wings in Buffalo, oh. which is in New York mm. State, mm. right in New York City, but that was a red herring there. Okay. Sauces, okay. they are. Okay. And the last group, fairy, gold, dust. angel, chalk. Oh, right. OK, dust. They can all... Dust can follow all the words. They fairy can dust. be followed by dust, exactly. I think you got slightly sidetracked by cakes. I don't blame you. I'm always hungry myself. So, you got two points for the groups that you found and three points for connections that you gave me. That is a total of five points. Let's see how that leaves the scores going into round four. The Urban Walkers have improved to nine points, but the Wrights are still in the lead with 13 points. 
And if you want to have a go at a connecting wall, then you'll find one on our website. The address is coming up on the screen now. Round four is the missing vowels round. This is where we take well-known phrases or sayings, take out the vowels, and then squidge the consonants together. Teams, I want you to tell me what those names and phrases are. They're going to come in connected groups of four, but I'll tell you the connections up front. All you have to do is give me the answers. The downside is, if you get it wrong by so much as one letter, I will deduct a point and throw it to the other team for a possible bonus. So, fingers on buzzers then. The first group are all hairstyles. Rights. Beehive. One point. Rights. Pompadour. Correct. Rights. Eaton crop. Yes, it is one point. Rights. Sharp back and sides. Yes. The next category are songs produced by Phil Spector. Don't know this classic, rights. You've lost that loving feeling. Yes, it is. One point. Walkers. Be my baby. One point. Walkers. The do run one. One point. Walkers. Then he kissed me. Lovely. One point. Next category, Ivy League universities. Walkers. Brown. One point. Walkers. Columbia. Correct. Right. Dartmouth College. One point. Walkers. University of Pennsylvania. Yes, it is. Next category, parts of an insect. Right. Mandible. One point. Right. Proboscis. One point. This is a tricky one, right? Ovipositor. Yes, it is. One point. Right. Compound I. Nasty, it's compound I. Next category, ball games. Walkers. Eaton fives. One point. Walkers. Barbillions. One point. Right. Real tennis. One point to you. Right. Bowls. I'm afraid that's not the answer. You must lose a point. I'm throwing it over to the Urban Walkers. Bulls. It's the French game of bull. No W in it, of course. Next category. But there will be no next category because that sound means it's the end of the quiz. Looking at the final scores, the Urban Walkers had a good round and they're up to 18 points. But the winners with 23 points are the rights. I'm sorry, Urban Walkers. Great quiz. Very nice to meet you. But that's the end of the journey. It is the rights we'll see again in the quarterfinals. Many congratulations. Thank you for joining us. Please be here next time for more fiendish connections and contestants so clever they think Aristophanes is chick lit. Goodbye. <laughs>